Look at how pretty. They're so juicy and gorgeous and shiny. I love what this combo is doing for me. I absolutely love trying new product combos to achieve the most beautiful, long-lasting wash and go possible. So today's wash and go combo will be using the new Curls Blueberry Bliss Extended line for type four hair. This is the Curl Defining Custard and we have the Extended Hold Gel. We're gonna talk about what they're supposed to do and then actually try them for a wash and go, see what the results are. And the biggest question of all, can it last for three days? That's always my go-to, so I'm gonna show you each day and let's see if they can do it. Curl Defining Custard for type four hair. It eliminates frizz and has humidity protection. Very important, because it is very humid and wet today in Houston and I am going out, so this is gonna be really put to the test today. Blueberry Bliss Curl Defining Custard defines your texture while eliminating frizz and retaining moisture. Formulated for type four hair with aloe leaf abstract, coconut oil, shea, and mango butters. I love shea butter, I love mango butter for the body, but all the way to the hair. It keeps your hair moisturized, it really does. Coconut oil dries my hair out a bit, so we'll see how my hair reacts, and aloe, fire. It is free of sulfate, silicones, DEA, phthalates, parabens, and synthetic colors. The directions are after cleansing and conditioning, apply to section hair, and proceed to style your hair in a wash and go, twist, braid out, roller styling, up, do whatever you want. For added hold, cocktail with Blueberry Bliss Extended Hold Gel can be used daily. I am definitely mixing it with the hold gel because that's what I need. I need hold, and my hair looks better and lasts longer with a thicker combination. Extended hold gel for type four hair. It has extreme hold and it is flake free. Both of these are eight fluid ounces and go for about $15. Blueberry Bliss Extended Hold Gel is that gel. It's formulated with marshmallow root, slippery elm, and reishi mushroom abstracts to deliver extreme hold and humidity protection for type four hair with no flaking. It is free of all the same stuff as the custard. Directions, after cleansing and conditioning, apply two sections of hair, proceed to style as a wash and go twist, operate or whatever, whatever. For softer hold, when using this gel, you would mix it with the Define and Shine Smoothie, which I've done for a twist out. Check it out if you wanna see. I'm telling y'all, it was good. I'm excited though to get something thicker and firmer. I actually am starting in a great place because this wash day that I just had, bomb. My hair is looking so defined already, super soft. I'm able to fingle detangle. And I did add a little bit of the Uncle Funky's Daughter Curly Magic Curl Stimulator for some moisture retention and added slip. I do that with all my combos because this is what I use as my leave-in and that's why I made sure to apply it today because although, yes, I wanna see what it could do on its own, that's not how I would use it. I always use a leave-in. I think it's very important to give yourself a little base, a little starting point, and come on now. This looks like my hair is already styled, so wash your hair, really clean, get it really clean, and then add some Uncle Funkies for that slip. Let's jump right in. I'm excited because I'm I already know this is going to smell absolutely fabulous. Literally, I have the seal. Let's take this off. Mmm, that blueberry bliss smell? Curls did that. Okay, I'm cheap. I need all my product. Shout out to Curls for actually sending this to me. It's actually pretty thick. It's not just falling out, which is very interesting. And then we have the gel, which I've already used and know it has a lot of goopy, slimy slip, which we really like kind of clear as you can see here I'm not gonna fully turn it over but see how it's like slowly see how it's slowly coming out the the jar it's thicker we like that I'm jumping right in let's get it going for this wash and go here is my hair damp with the uncle funky's daughter in it we're going in with the custard first thick product it's not just falling off my fingers Ooh, that feel nice that's like a silky smooth feeling with the way it's just gliding into my hair right now. Already the definition is there, okay. I'm gonna detangle with my tangle teaser at this point just to get all the knots out before I apply the gel. Hold on, this is not focusing. There we go. This is just the custard. I love adding the gel and how thick it just got. Look at the way it made the hair clump. That's gorgeous. I don't even want to separate them because it feels like it just, ooh. No frizz to be seen at all. Like, look at how gorgeous that is. Oh, yes. And it has like an elongated look right now. 
I like don't really want to separate it, but I always finger coil the front of my hair. So I'm just gonna do a quick little, quick finger coil. Oh, look at how that just bounced up. Absolutely bouncy, super shiny, defined. Oh, I love this. I feel like we're about to get a great result. I'm gonna leave these pieces like this just to prevent as much frizz as possible. I don't wanna separate them right now. I wanted to quickly pop in and show y'all how good the back of my hair is coming out. It's so juicy and defined. And I'm doing more of a shingle raking method than a full finger coil method that I typically do. Just because I want to be able to do this faster. And I'm only finger coiling the pieces that are very clearly frizzing. So that I have a mixture. I'm just trying to get it going so far so good though now that i'm getting towards the front of my hair i'm going to finger coil just because that's just it comes out better takes forever but comes out better look at how pretty they're so juicy and gorgeous and shiny i love what this combo is doing for me the shine alone is taking it here the definition is putting it here the frizz free up here because once you already start at a free frizz free point by the time you get to going outside in the humid weather you'll get to really see what it could do for you and i love that we are now done with half of our head the shine is there the definition is there however there are some pieces that are getting really frizzy i'm intrigued to see how it dries overall because some pieces you can see in the middle are really, really frizzy. And all I'm doing right now is just re-wetting it and applying a bunch of gel to it so that I can get it to smooth it all down. I'm hoping for the best. I just, it makes me nervous when I see frizzy pieces like this next to coils like this. You see, like it has the potential, it just won't go down. And I also don't want to overwhelm my hair with too much product, so. We'll see what it does. We're really quick. If you made this far, I hope you like and subscribe because you already vibe with your girl. On this channel, we care about growing our hair and having glowing skin all at an affordable price. So if that's something that you're interested in, go ahead and comment down below right now. What is your favorite wash and go combo? Then like, subscribe, and keep watching. We're up to our last piece. I have re-wet it. We're applying some custard. I do it from the roots and smooth it down into the ends of my hair. So here it is with just the custard. This custard is a lot creamier than I'm used to. I was trying to figure out what was different about it and the two custards that I have used and liked in my hair are a lot more on the gel side in my opinion. But this is still more creamy than I'm used to. Here it is with the gel. Still no frizz. We love that. Though while I was styling my left side, the right side got time to dry up and ooh, this looks so good and juicy and shiny. I love what this side is giving already. A lot more shrinkage than I was expecting, but the hold is there, especially towards my ends, which is very helpful because my ends always frizz first. And this is without diffusing. So it's giving all of this lusciousness off of air drying. But you see on these pieces like this where it gets a little frizzy, I am re-wetting it, smoothing in the product that's already in that piece of hair, and then taking a bit, just a little bit of gel and continuing to smooth, maybe coil a bit until it lays down flat. Because as it starts to dry, especially when I diffuse, it's going to frizz up a bit. So I need to be as frizz free and silky, sexy, coily as I can get it before I jump into diffusing. Look at the shine on this. Oh my God. Although, depending on your hair texture, I feel like a little can go a long way with these. For me, as a type 4 low porosity hair girly, I feel like I had to use a lot of product. There's still a good amount left of product, so it's not even that big of a deal. Just for how I like my wash and goes to look and how I want my hair to react to products, I felt like I had to use a good amount. I am heavy handed. 
And especially if you want it to be a little firmer, you'll use more gel. And if you want it to be a little more on the smooth, juicy side, you'll go for the custard. My hair wasn't reacting as fast to the custard as I would like, so gel was absolutely needed. Based on how styling was going, I don't think I would like a custard only wash and go. I would always need to use the gel for that extra hold just because of how I like my hair to look. You can't tell me this don't look fire though. Do y'all see the way the hair is looking and defined and juicy? Like, come on, come through. Curls, you knew what you was doing. This is beautiful. I'm about to diffuse my hair so we can see what it looks like at the final of day one, and then we'll get it into day two and day three. But as of right now, this is absolutely key approved. And here we are, 90% diffused. I'm gonna let it air dry the rest of the way. I really like it. It has a lot more volume than I was expecting, which I love because I still have the definition. If you're gonna ask me to choose between volume and definition, I'm always team definition, but if I could get both in a wash and go, that's a really good wash and go. And I think I'm achieving that. It's gonna get bigger as the days go on. By day three, I'm hoping to have the definition and the volume still. I have not stretched it out. I have not picked it out. This is just how it looks on its own after diffusing. It really has some beautiful coils and curlies going on back here that I really like. So that's awesome. What do y'all think? Cause I'm happy with it. I think this looks great. Especially featuring little coilies like this. Gorgeous. I, re I got a really soft, firm hold for the curlies. Look at the ends especially, like that's gorgeous. Here is how it looked day two. And here is how it looked day three. This is the best day three hair that I've had in a long time. I actually really am loving this combo. I had doubts for some reason. I felt like it wasn't gonna last that long, but look at the gorgeousness. The coils in the back and ends, gorgeous. People been complimenting me. It's voluminous, it's defined, and this has more days to go. It's day three, but I know I could make it to day five. Even the frizzy pieces it just look voluminous. So there's, it's going with it. I just look how pretty the coils. I'm actually gonna really miss the color once it's fully out, but I'm gonna be good and keep my hair natural. The shrinkage is also more than I expected, but I'm still not mad at it. What do we think though? Comment down below. Let me know if you have any questions or if you have product suggestions or video requests, comment them down as well because if your idea is selected, you will get a shout out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back soon. Ciao.